Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 10, Thoughts. This episode is called What They Become. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to, including this episode. No spoilers in this video for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the site after Strikers. And below that, there's some links to videos that help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive into the episode. So, yeah. We open on May yet again kicking ass, you know, handling the tense situation in the air. Very clever to use the pods as, like, crap, I forget what they're called. Do they call them flares? But the thing, you know, the, you know, there are things that, that certain jets, military jets can, like, D drop to to distract missiles and such and let's see yeah um i appreciate lance actually trusting bobby the you know he he realizes she picked up some Ah, what's it called? Um, thumb drive. And, you know, he he lets her know that he is aware she has it. But he says, I'm, I'm trusting you. And... Yeah, I really, really like the interactions between Sky and Zabo. He that like there really is the sense that he is trying to be better for her, but you know that just yeah. Um, I hope there's more that that the two of them spend more time together. It's a very compelling like relationship. It it is the thing of you know yeah. It's been so long. She's been hoping to meet her parents, and yeah, you know, now she has, you know, it is it is a part of everyone's life. Eventually, you 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 know reach a level of maturity where you realize your parents aren't perfect. You know, where whether you've been hoping to meet them for a really long time, or if you spent, you know your childhood with them or anything in between you know sooner or later you have to come to terms with the fact that they're not perfect people and you know because it's this kind of exaggerated thing her father is a serial killer you know but yeah it's it's there's you know we can a lot of people can get something out of this kind of drama and Let's see. Yeah. Um, Bobby feels like, you know, Diego is maybe sending a signal, and Lance is like, are you sure that that is what's happening? You know, and yeah, you know, she, she kisses him, and yeah, indeed, Diego dropped off a note. With her, you know that is that is kind of clever as a thing of yeah. <laughs> she would know he's never early. He never wears a suit. Hydra don't know that, so they just think, oh great, he's on time. Didn't need to wear a suit, but sure, well, you know, it's an occasion, you know. But she's like, no, there's something wrong here, you know, and yeah, so she doesn't go up to him to meet him. And, and yeah, you know, Hydra either think, oh, I guess, you know, maybe maybe S.H.I.E.L.D. didn't hear, you know, that he was going to be there at that time. Or, you know, oh, they were late. What are you going to do? Let's see. You know, the, as much as they would have loved to capture two S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, the, you know, what they are there for is so Diego can lead them to the city. And let's see, we have the. Um, 
Right, yeah, and and Zabo tells Sky that he's going to get revenge on Whitehall. And the drill is legitimately clever. Like that, yeah, that'll that'll get you there even if the other side control the entrance. And Sky picks up Obelix and nothing bad happens to her and she uses it as a weapon against one of the guards and Zabo takes out one guy as well but of course it's not quite enough and the line I'm sure in time I can make you comply Ugh. and I like Grant trying to to work 33 that was yeah yeah just Grant, such an interesting character. Really glad he's still around. And yeah, you have this thing of you know, yeah, Grant, uh, yeah, Zabo manages to to get free, which was also part of you know, yeah, and and yeah, you know, he's like, it's just, you know, I can't, you know, he tells Sky, which I know is not her name. He tells her, you know, I can't let you see what I'm about to do. And Grant is like, I, I'd like to see it. Help. I'll help. And I like the conversation about should we split up? And, you know, Fitz is about to go in the wrong direction. It's, oh, yeah, right. Sorry. It's this one. You know, which is like not the best start like you just said that you have the map you have everything under control you know you know you're not going to get lost and not have you know enough time to get back out and it is also it is a very clever idea you know trip simmons and and fitz going into the the temple and setting up four explosives so that they can get you know have the temple collapse in on itself yeah that will you know that might permanently make it impossible to to get into the the place and place the 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 diviner there at the very least it's gonna seriously slow down any attempts to do so and then of course it's, Trip has to run around deactivating them when he hears that Colson and Sky are down there. And yeah, Colson shoots Whitehall, who I have to admit I am gonna miss. The show has the you know, to be fair, this show is not want for compelling villains. He's not the the only one. But, but yeah, you know, Colson's, uh, you're welcome. And, you know, Zabo is furious because this was, you know, he's been looking forward to this for so long, you know. What was it like? Um, let's see, that was 89, right? So, and the, the, the show takes place when it, you know, is, is set when... It came out so 2014. Let's see, it's uh, tw uh, 25 years. That's yeah. And now he can't. And I quite appreciate Agent 33 seeing Whitehall dead because that really it like I I was already fascinated with her character. And now, there is no, like, she does not have any guidance anymore when that was, like, he broke her will, and now he's gone. He will never give her another order when she has now been conditioned that the only thing in life is to follow his order. So, yeah, really, really looking forward to seeing you know where they go with her as well 
And, yeah, you know, the fact that she seemingly helps Grant, yeah, that is... I could I could definitely see how you know they could they could do something there, and the thing is like Grant didn't like do something to her like you know he distracted her to let Zabo knock her out, but that was it you know he did like I I don't Hypo like hypothetically I I it would take a lot for me to believe that Sky would willingly work with Grant again because of what Grant did to Sky. But Grant hasn't really done anything to 33, at least as far as we know. So, yeah, you know, the, there might actually be, yeah. And Grant actually thought, you know, he, he cuts Sky loose from the chair and then he just tells her, you stay here, I'm going to go check. And he leaves the a gun on the Hydra guard. He really has no idea how much she and the other, you know, the rest of the team truly hate him. Like he he still thinks, you know, oh, it's it's okay, you know, we'll we'll I'm still part of the team. But yeah, and and you know, she shoots him a couple of times and then says Never turn your back on an enemy. You taught me that. I'm not sure he meant to teach her that, but he definitely did teach her that. And, yeah. Right, and also when, yeah, so, so, um, um, yeah, Sky actually calls Zabo dad. You know, that was also quite compelling, and, and gives him one chance to go and yeah and once they several of them end up down in the uh, the t temple you know Sky and Reyna together very compelling and yeah like I've you know we didn't know everything about Reyna from episode one but I do feel like there's a very natural through line. Like when we first met her, she was she, she was already trying to change people. She wanted to see what they become. And yeah, you know, like essentially this was the this was what she hoped for the most. But what is she gonna do? Just sit around, twiddle her thumbs, hoping that at some point someone will have the map you know she she did what she could to to try to get there she put Colson in the machine for example you know but yeah just through and through they they never betrayed her kid I hope they they keep to that so far they have not betrayed her character they have not just turned her into something she's not and just yeah she's she's very very fascinating and we see the change with the with the crystals from the the diviner and they get covered and then they come back out of the i think i know what's going on but i don't want to say it in case someone like me is only now watching the show and does not know yeah, very, very excited to see the further ramifications of, of what's happened. Yeah, and then we see, you know, the there was more than one of these obelisks, and yeah, apparently when one of them is activated, the others glow. So the guy calls on the phone and says, Are you seeing this? Tell the others I'm on it. And yeah, I'm very, very excited to, to see what happens next there. And the guy has no eyes, which I appreciate they saved until the end. You know, like, you expect the, the shot to eventually reveal his eyes, but instead, just skin over there. It's just, yeah. So, IMDb trivia. Let's 
see. Yeah, uh, Sky, played by Chloe Bennett, finds out her fa from her father that her mother is Chinese. In real life, Chloe Bennett has a Chinese father and Jewish Caucasian mother. And I think that is all that I have to say for this one. So yeah, um, right. And the thing with yeah, you know, two gold stop the drill. Fine, Sky, aren't you forgetting the third? What's that? Don't die out there. We tend to remind each other not to die. I thought that was implicit. He likes to hear it. Who doesn't like to hear it? And then we get a reaction shot from May, who's like, I swear to God. I really love how much she truly, deeply, passionately hates Lance. It's very funny. Let's see. Yeah, and the... Triplet asks uh, Billy Caney, where's your brother been hiding? Well, all this excitement fried his circuits. His cooling system kicked in and he's recharging his batteries. I know what you're doing. And... Let's see. I think that might be... About. Right, I also, you know, when when Whitehall is like, you know, figuring out who, why the various, you know, yeah, the various people who helped him get there, why they're really there. Let's see. And I also like the wording, Reyna says... Agent Ward believes if he helps Sky fulfill her destiny, she'll see him for what he really is. That's how he sees it, and you know that's, and this is a this is a favorable, you know. It, she didn't say Sky in in that case. Sky will be able to look past what he's done, but see him. For what he really is, so yeah, that's that's a very interesting, yeah. And and also just you know, Zabu says, if my daughter wasn't here, I would tear you and your men to pieces. Whitehall says, well then, I'll add that to the number of reasons that I'm glad she's here. Just, wow. And let's see. I think that is right. And also, yeah, Zabo describing the the revenge is quite <laughs> best day ever.